Hello and welcome. My name is Chris and I'm doing another pen video today. Today I'm talking about not just fountain pens but other pens because I'm getting ready to go on a trip. I'm going to Vermont for two weeks to see my family and this is the first time that I've traveled at all with anything to do with fountain pens. So I've had to kind of uh, decide what to take and kind of narrow it down so here we are we're gonna we're gonna talk about traveling with fountain pens but also the other pens that I chose to to pack up to take with me um, so first of all before I even got started I realized if I'm gonna take some fountain pens I've got to have the right kind of equipment with me so I've got to have my bulb syringe to clean them out and I've got to have my um, regular ink syringe to maybe extract ink that's what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use cartridges and I'm a I'm an ink miser, so if there's any ink at all left when I get ready to fly back, I'm gonna suck it out of there and put it in a, a vial, and I'll just put this in a, a gallon I mean a quart size baggie, and that'll be liquid, of course, you know, to fly with. So those things um, I felt like were necessity, so I got those in there right off the bat. But let's just get right into the pen case here, and I'll show you what I packed so far, and it's pretty full, but. Um, I really thought about it last night so that I could decide, you know, I want to take all my fountain pens, but I'm not going to because I really, I really kind of want to have stress-free. I don't want to be concerned every minute about pens, you know, even though they're my first love here. But I decided on my two Lamy's that I have, my uh, Safari in the Dark Lilac and my Vista because I just love them. I don't have any trouble with them and they're super easy to clean compared to anything else that I have even. So those two are going with me. And this is a special little pen. This is my favorite pen to put in my pocket and carry everywhere, like to the grocery store. It's just so easy. This is called a pocket pen. And it just puts back together, you know, so that it becomes a full size. And this is, a, this is the only ballpoint I still use. I love these. And I, I will put a link to where you can get them. They come in all kinds of different cool colors. And I've got a couple more in here because... I kind of anticipate, I've, I've given out quite a few of these, people like them, but my nephew and my brother, they're all covered, they've got theirs already, so, okay, up here, I just put a little bit of washi tape, because I mentioned before I'm a bullet journalist, and I don't want to take the whole rolls, because then it'll just get stuck in everything, and, and it's pretty full already, so I put a little washi tape around an old Amazon gift card, I'd seen that trick from somebody, and thank you, whoever you were, because that was great, some extra leads for my pencil. And then I love these little tabs. I'm going to be reading. I'm not sure just what. And it may be primarily um, on my Kindle. But I, I do. I can't go anywhere without those little tabs. I, I just love them. So then up here I just put four Lamy cartridges. I probably will only use a couple of them. I've got the um, Violet and the Lamy Turquoise. And so that's going to be cool. I won't have to sacrifice pretty color while I'm up there. Um, even though I'm so spoiled here, I've got probably seven or eight pens inked up with different colors and I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do before I leave. So those are those are my fountain pens. Oh, I'm gonna bring this uh, Inky Fingers notebook from um, uh, The Pen Habit um, because I really wanted, my mother's interested in seeing all these neat colors and I wanted to show her and I just I thought, well, that's a way of taking the whole thing with me, the, all the colors and everything. So down in here is mostly what I need for uh, bullet journaling. So I'll just, just kind of dump it out, basically. I've got a little ruler. I just purchased these. I love the G2s. They used to be some of my favorite pens. Now they're not. Um, the fountain pens are so much smoother. But while I'm on vacation you know, and I'm not having as many of my fountain pens. These are just the right size. And they do seem to write super well, better than other, better than on other paper in my Leustrum um, 1917. So those are going. Uh, might as well, they're little. This is one I use all the time, the Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner for my bullet journal. That's the basis for some of my beginning pages there. A couple more Paca pens. I never am sure whether to call it Poca or Paca, but I think it's Paca. <laughs> uh, of course, an eraser. Um, I do start my pages with pencils, so I've got my mechanical, my favorite Paper Mate mechanical pencil. I love that. And then I have a regular one in case, you know, 
stuff goes wrong with the other one, I guess, you know. And I did put a tip on it so it wouldn't ruin anything. That This is a favorite pencil. I got given a box of these. When I helped someone move a bunch of books, I was given a box of these Blackfeet Indian pencils, and they're wonderful. I'm still using them, and it's been like seven years. So. Um, and a pencil sharpener for that, in case that gets dull. And then this one here, um, Stabilo, I, I love this. I already ran through my regular sized one of this that I had and had to throw that out. It's gone. <laughs> ran out. And then I, I had to contain myself to two of my Tombow... Um, dual brush markers. These are the two that I, I'm most likely to want to use for the next two weekly spreads I do in my bullet journal. So that was fine. This doesn't show it. It almost looks red, but it's more orange. So I've been enjoying it for, I, I'm preparing for the October time there. Okay, and I brought these two for just regular journaling, the uh, Pentel Energel Liquid Gel. And I like to switch colors for emphasis and make boxes. And if I do end up doing what I think which will be a lot of reading I'll probably want these plus a highlighter so I almost forgot this but blue is my favorite highlighter color so I put that in there and then I've got this chart going where I have to kinda I just do some color coding in my bullet journal so these are more Stadlers for for that and yeah this is definitely overkill one two three four five <laughs> oh boy but it all fits and then I don't know why but I really wanted to kinda test these out these are the Uniball Vision Elites, and I've written with them some, a black one and a red one. Um, and I thought, well, I'm going to probably be pulling a couple out to put in my purse to carry with me. And these will just be what I have wherever, you know, when I'm staying with my brother and, or staying at the hotel. And then I made this mistake before of traveling without a Sharpie. And actually, every once in a while, either people will give me a bunch of stuff or I'll make a purchase where I've got to mail it back. I can't put it in my suitcase. And I... Who wants to go and spend more money to buy pens you already have at home? You know, and I've had to do that several times. I couldn't find a good Sharpie anywhere to borrow from anybody. So, anyway, oh, these just barely fit in this pen case. These are extra long, the Tombows, but they do fit. And I don't have to be too picky. I always kind of like to have that one little tiny black one on the top, so... I've buried it, but ah, here it is. Yeah, <laughs> I I kind of like that. I probably should put it right up here because I just can't stand it when that's not right at my fingertips. So, so that's the pencil case, and this pencil case I got it for seven ninety nine on Amazon some time back. It doesn't get as much use at home as this other one. I kind of prefer this one for at home, but I I did this. I loaded all of this into this one. Uh, earlier and it, it didn't work the way I wanted for all the little odd size things that kind of puffed out So this is another one. I, I use all the time. It's open on my desk all the time. So so I did a kind of a funny thing I Or odd thing. I guess you could say I put my bullet journal and my gratitude journal on the scale to see how much it weighed and That came out to one pound 6.2 ounces for these two books <laughs> and then I separately I put on the uh, pencil case on the little postal scale and it came out to 15 ounces which is just under a pound of course so if I ask myself why on earth is my backpack so heavy then th this is a pretty good answer because I'm sure it won't be the extra shirt or the underwear or the, you know it's the pens and the books so um but I I'll um I've been traveling and flying for a long time. I'll work on it. I have a bad shoulder, so I do have to kind of kind of think about it. And I actually thought about just taking a smaller travel sized um a smaller book for my bullet journal, but I've got a lot in this. Book lists, uh things to look for, kind of lots of lots and lots of uh, <laughs> good information. So I think I need to do carry that with me. So, that's pretty much it for what I have done about traveling and I'm this this will be my first time to use fountain pens away from home and I'm just going to put all these things in a like a plastic bag um you know a little uh quart size I guess something like that and just have it in the backpack because it, it wouldn't all fit in in here of course and um the other thing that I just wanted to talk about was of course this trip part of this trip is it's going to be um 
I'm going to introduce my nephew, who's 12, to fountain pens. And I really had, I thought about it a lot last night, and I thought, what I really want for him is a Lamy. But I wanted to kind of introduce him to it first to see if he had any interest at all, have him see what I'm doing a little bit, and, uh, you know, for the Lamy, that would make a great Christmas present to get him the pen and some cartridges and, and an ink uh, syringe and little things that he would need to really learn the hobby. And I think he would really be excited about it, but I don't know. So what I kind of decided on for right now is I'm going to give him this petite one in the black and um, a set of three of the cartridges. And, you know, I'll kind of explain it to him. It's, it's a little bit different. You know, there's not as much maintenance with these. And when you do clean them out, you have to wait a long, long time you know, um, so I, for them to dry, and I've found that I'd rather just keep running the same color and just, uh, you know, not, not be cleaning them quite the same way as I do my others. But um, I really think that, that uh, if he can deal with that tripod grip, which I hope to find out, I hope he'll be interested enough to write with mine a little bit. And because if not, I've got some other ideas. I think that there are a few of the Gen Hao X450s that are really pretty. Of course, that has a tripod grip too. So I've got to, I've got to kind of think about it and really be observant as to how interested he is. And, um, you know, I'm not able to take too many pens, so it's, it's kind of going to be interesting. Anyway, I had fun doing this. It made me more motivated to figure out what I was going to take sooner, knowing that I wanted to do the video. So hopefully you enjoyed it too, and I will link. Uh, down below as soon as I get a chance after this is uploaded the pocket pens and this case also from Amazon. I it It's really super good for organizing and it isn't really all that oversized. I'm surprised that it held more better than the uh, the other little one. This designed for life or designed for arrangement case is really super duper for having open on your desk at home. So, I was going to try to keep this short, but I never seem to be able to. Hope you have a great day and enjoy all your pens. As you can see, I enjoy fountain pens and other pens, including still the wonderful, awesome little ballpoint pen. And I promise you, I'm not in any way uh, <laughs> affiliated with them, but I, I really went wild for these pens. And listen, I'll be quiet so you can listen. Maybe you couldn't hear it, but it pops on and... It's available in all these neat colors, even bright hunter orange, and gotta love it. So, that's it for today, and I'm not sure whether I'll be doing another video before I leave. If I don't get to, it'll probably be um, about the third week of October when I get back, and I can report on how it went with my nephew with his fountain pen and everything. But have a great day and a great rest of your week, and thank you very much for, for viewing and joining me. Bye now.